welcome to Craft Club. I'm Kit, your DIY hostess and craft extraordinaire. I am so excited about this episode. Every fashionista's room always looks as cool as she does, so that's what we're gonna do today, transform this boring old lamp into something super exciting, inspired by one of my all-time favorite designers, Betsy Johnson. I got so excited about it, I even had to put on my old Betsy. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll need, of course, for this craft is a lamp base and lamp shade. The rest of my supplies I got all from Hancock Fabrics and it was all under $25. Can you believe it? It's awesome. In that, I got some beaded trim and super cute Betsy style pom-poms. Reminds me of Betsyville style. Paint to paint our base and a paintbrush, scissors, a hot glue gun, and to cover our lampshade, we'll need fun printed fabric and also really pretty lace. Of course, your lamp should match your room and whatever your taste level is, but a la Betsy Johnson, it's fun to mix different colors and prints all together. The first step on this is we're gonna start with painting the base. That way, while it's drying, we can work on the lampshade. So all you need to do is get your favorite color. I'm gonna choose pink and paintbrush, and let's start painting. I love these sponge paint brushes because they just get everything on really nice and evenly. And you're probably gonna need to do two coats of this. Okay, all done painting our base. While that's drying, we can get started on the lamp shade. Now, on our website, we have a pattern that fits this size and shape of lamp. If your lamp shade is a little bit bigger, that's okay, you can use the same pattern, just cut, you know, bigger than the pattern is. We're gonna lay out our fabric and place our pattern just like this. And you can just hold it down while you're cutting. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we'll trim around once we get it on. Now that we have our super fun zebra lampshade pattern cut out, all we have to do is glue it on top of the lampshade. We have a seam back here that's already been done for us. So we're gonna put our two ends back there. See how easily it fits around? So let's start by just putting hot glue around the top. Once we have the hot glue around the top, we can place on our cover, just like so. And then we'll glue the bottom. And you can do this part in segments. Once we have our zebra fabric glued around our lampshade, we have a little bit extra and we're just gonna trim that. Now that we have our lampshade covered in our zebra fabric, we're gonna overlay some pink lace. Set this aside and we're gonna use the really pretty edge of this lace so that we have a perfect finish at the bottom of our lampshade. That's the cool thing about Betsy, is that she's so girly and so tough at the same time. So we can mix the boudoir elements of zebra and the lace. So let's lay it out this way. And I'm gonna borrow a tape measure from my lovely assistant over here and measure out 39 inches long, right to the end of the table, perfect. And eight inches wide. I'm just gonna mark this really quickly with a marker and start cutting. Now I'm gonna eye it, but feel free to go ahead and draw your line all the way down your fabric. Now we're gonna take our rectangle of lace and cover our zebra lampshade. Again, we have our seam in the back and we can start there. The cool thing about this, as you can see, is that our pink lace is gonna hang really delicately off the edge of our lamp. And we're just gonna need to pleat it every so often since it is on a curve. And take a pin and pin it onto the zebra fabric like so. And just repeat all the way around. Now that we have all of our pretty pink lace pinned onto our lampshade, we have our little bit of excess up here that we're gonna just trim down because the light bulb is right there and it's really important that there's only a very little bit of fabric that's gonna curl over the edge of the lampshade. So 
we can trim it down. It doesn't need very much, probably just like quarter of an inch. Done. Now all we have to do is glue the lace onto the top. This is really easy to do and be careful because gluing through lace, the glue does come through and it can get very hot. What you're going to want to do is glue on the inside of the lampshade and then you can press the lace over so you actually don't have to touch the glue. And we're just going to work our way all around the lampshade. Now that we've glued on our lace, we can go ahead and remove all the pins and get to the funnest part, which is putting on our beaded trim and our pom-poms. We'll start with our glass beaded trim, which we're gonna put on first, and then we're gonna get super crazy and put the pom-poms right over it. So again, to get started, just grab your glue gun, go all along the edge of the lamp, and glue on the beaded fringe. Last part on this, we just have to trim it. With our yellow pom-pom trim, we're just gonna start at the top of this satin trim. So just go over it and place the pom-poms. It's so much fun to mix the glass beads and the pom-poms and the zebra and the lace and get just as wild as Miss Betsy's fashion shows. However, I'm not sure if I'll be able to end this episode with a cartwheel. Okay, all finished. Let's just trim off the excess. And oh my gosh, look how much fun our lamp is. Our base is all dry, so we can get that over here. Put the lampshade on, and voila, Betsy Johnson inspired lampshade. This one was a little bit crazy with the yellow and the zebra and the lace, so I left the top bare, but on the one I made for my room, I went ahead and put more beaded trim and leather grommeted trim on the top. Get creative, make yours as wild as you want. I know it's gonna make your room look fantastic and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to visit your local Hancock Fabric store or HancockFabrics.com for all your supplies.